Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In today's video we are having one very interesting and challenging question from radical maths. Here we have to evaluate expression cube root of x times square root y if x and y is given. So let's get started with x equal to. Now I will split my numerator with respect to denominator. So I can write 5 root 13 plus 19. Then what is left? It is 8 root 13 plus 16 divided by 5 root 13 plus 19. Now let's split our numerator. So I can write equal to 1 plus 8 is common. So let me take 8 also common. Root 13 plus 2 over 5 root 13 plus 19. So finally x is equal to 1 plus 8 times root 13 plus 2 over 5 root 13 plus 19. Now I will rationalize our denominator. So I need to multiply in numerator denominator by denominators conjugate. So 5 root 13 minus 19. Here also 5 root 13 minus 19. Let us multiply. So I will write 1 plus 8 is common as it is. Now let us multiply. Root 13 times 5 root 13, it will be 65. Then root 13 times negative 19, I will write minus 19 root 13. Next product would be 10 root 13 minus 38 over a plus b times a minus b. So we can write 5 root 13 whole square minus 19 whole square. Let me write here. So 8 times in bracket will write 27 minus 9 root 13. And denominator will be 325 minus 19 square is 361. Which will give us negative 36. So I will write x equal to 1 plus 8 times in bracket 27 minus 9 root 13 divided by negative 36. Now from this bracket we can take 9 common out. So 1 minus 8 over 36. 9 is also common. So 3 minus root 13. Now we can cancel. It will left here 2. So I will write 1 minus 2 times 3 minus root 13. 1 minus 6 plus 2 root 13. So it is converting into the simplified form 2 root 13 minus 5. This is our x. Now we will simplify y also. So I will write y equal to. 5 root 5 minus 9 divided by 9 root 5 plus 19. Let's rationalize directly. So I will write here in the numerator and denominator 9 root 5 minus 19. 9 root 5 minus 19. Let's multiply numerator and denominators bracket. I will write here 225 minus 95 root 5 minus 81 root 5 plus 171 over 405. It is a square of 9 root 5 minus 361. So numerator will become 396 minus 176 
root 5 over 44. Now from numerator we can take 11 common. So in bracket it would be 36 minus 16 root 5. Denominator is 44. So we can cancel 11 and 44. So 4 will be there. Now from numerator also 4 is common. So we can write in bracket 9 minus 4 root 5 over 4. Now 4 and 4 will be over. So y is finally 9 minus 4 square root 5. Now we have simplified form of x and y. Let me write here x equal to 2 root 13 minus 5 y equal to 9 minus 4 root 5 now we have to calculate this expression let us say this is expression e so i will write e equal to cube root of x times square root y further i can write it is cube root of x times cube root of the square root y. Now I will say this is a and let us say this is b. So let us calculate a first. x and y both values are here. So I will write a equal to cube root x and it is 2 square root 13 minus 5. Consider cubing both sides. So, a cube equal to 2 square root 13 minus 5. Now, I will multiply both sides by 8. So, 8 a cube, it is equal to 16 root 13 minus 8 times 5, 40. Let me write here. 16 root 13 minus 40. It is equal to. 8a cube. So, let me write here 2a whole cube. Now, I will split 16 as 13 plus 3. So, 13 root 13 plus 3 root 13. 40 can be written as negative 39, negative 1. So, I can write here 13 root 13 minus 1 minus 39 plus 3 root 13. So, 13 root 13 is root 13 whole cube minus 1 we can write 1 whole cube minus 39 we can write 3 times square root 13 whole square times 1 also plus 3 root 13 we can write 3 times root 13 times 1 square. Now, if I will write a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3a b square, then this is one algebraic identity a minus b whole cube. So, let us use this formula in RHS. So, I can write 2a whole cube will be equal to root 13 minus 1 whole cube. Let us take cube root both sides. So, 2a equal to square root 13 minus 1. So, a will be equal to square root 13 minus 1 divided by 2. Now, the turn of b. Let me write the value of a square root 13 minus 1 over 2. Now we have to calculate b. So I can write b was 9 minus 4 root 5 and it is a square root and with cube root. This is b. So I will write cube root of a square root of 9 we can split 5 plus 4 minus 4 root 5. Further I can write cube root of square root of 5 is square root 5 whole square. 2 is 2 whole square. 
and here 4 root 5 can be written as 2 times root 5 times 2. Now this is recalling a square plus b square minus 2ab. So we can write here a minus b whole square. So b will be cube root of square root of root 5 minus 2 whole square. Now square root and a square will be over. So it is left with cube root of square root 5 minus 2. Left hand side is b. Consider cubing both sides. b cube equal to root 5 minus 2. Now I will multiply both sides by 8. So right hand side will be 8 root 5 minus 16. LHS is 2B whole cube. Now I can split 8 as 5 plus 3. So 5 root 5 plus 3 root 5. Negative 15, negative 1. After rearrangement of the numbers, I can write minus 1, minus 15, plus 3 root 5. Now 5 root 5 is root 5 whole cube. 1 whole cube minus 3 times root 5 is square times 1 plus 3 times root 5 times 1 is square. Again this is a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So we can write directly root 5 minus 1 whole cube. Left hand side is 2b whole cube. Once I will take cube root both sides. 2b equal to root 5 minus 1. So b will be root 5 minus 1 over 2. Now we have to calculate our expression a times b. So I will write here expression e equal to. I will write it is cube root of x times cube root of square root y which we considered a b. So it is product of a and b. a was root 13 minus 1 over 2 and b is here it is root 5 minus 1 over 2. So this is our answer we can write. If I will multiply I will write my answer in this form root 65 root 13 times root 5 minus root 13 minus root 5 plus 1 divided by 4. This is our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Goodbye.